All right. In the last session, we completed our template creation. Uh, we created a pipeline um, using our uh, template from Microsoft and we learned how you could just uh, push your code onto a GitHub repository. You could have used uh, uh, Azure DevOps also, um, just that you need to have them in the same tenant. Um, in this session, we're going to play a little more uh, around source control and we're going to create our own branch um, and we're going to see how you could just validate just like you could have done it in a, a software development life cycle before pushing on a master branch, which we have been working so far, the main branch. Uh, what we're going to do is if you look at over here, we have only got one branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one more branch. We're going to do some testing and then we're going to see how it kind of works. So what I'm going to do is, um, by the way, before we get started, if you go to the home section, you would see that um, Data Factory is uh, making rapid changes and they're making the UI changes also pretty rapidly once we recorded this video in the couple of days back the ui was different they have uh, azure data factory has now changed the ui a little bit um you would have seen little videos and resources over here um they're still there but they're more of a, a conglomeration of video tutorials uh, and um, uh, text content as well and then bit of a uh, more transformation over here so if you go to our author section um, and what we're working on is the same branch. I'm going to create a new branch that's going to be new. Um, let's give it a name as a feature branch. If I hit save, we should have the branch now working on it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task within this pipeline. So I'm going to create a validation task and I'm going to drag and drop this right over here I'm gonna join with this one probably make it a little prettier so what's gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate the um, validate bunch of folders what we're gonna do is we are going to validate whether um, we have the container exist or not so before fetching the file what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate that the uh, folder exists. So what we are going to do is we're gonna go to the data source folder and then underneath the container we could just add um, uh, we could just click on the add dynamic content and then within the parameter we could just select which location we want. So our container if you go to our storage account go to our storage account source code df that's where all of our container exist and we primarily what we want to check is our source uh, container and destination container exist so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the location and then directory directory is gonna be source store directory finish and yeah you could check that whether it has a child item or not for now I'm just gonna note this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just debug it so one of the cool feature if you see over here there's a red circle over here what you could do is since you know that all of these three tasks already work because they've been tried and tested this is the one which has been just now uh, valid uh, just now been added so what we could do is we could just click on this red dot and what it's gonna do is just gonna validate this particular item and not gonna run through entire pipeline so it is a very good way to test whatever you have uh, written so far or whatever new items you've added to your pipeline they kind of work as expected or not I'm gonna hit on OK and uh, just wait for it to complete alright so our validation task has been successfully completed it has checked whether the folder exists or not now we could just remove the um, debug sign and then just save whatever we have done so if you go to your github repository you would see that your new branch has appeared over here we did not have any branch couple of minutes back since we created the feature branch in our azure data factory it's now replicated on your github repository also you didn't have to do anything manually and we can just save the pipeline and if you notice over here the publish button is grayed out because it's only allowed 
to be published on the main branch since you're working on a feature branch publish won't be uh, um, won't be allowed in this case because generally anything beyond and above your master or main branch it's all testing it's all bug fixes which you which we do generally right and that's why it doesn't let us save um, it as a or publish it into our code repository all right our pipeline has been now um, successfully successfully saved and now if you come back over here we could just create a pull request if you create a pull request it is going to take to the uh, github page and it's going to tell us show us what we what all changes we have made once we are happy it is going to compare and we can just start uh, creating a pull request give a name to your pull request and just uh, tell somebody in your team that can you just um, validate the changes and let that particular person approve or reject the changes since we haven't got anybody else uh, while recording this video what we're going to do is we're going to approve our changes on our own so i'm going to create the pull request and uh, that's going to check whether it has any got any conflicts or error and i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to merge the pull request confirm merge with any comments if needed be and your um, your branch has successfully been merged with the master branch so now if you go back we should have uh, all the changes which 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 we just did in our uh, template also so that's how you could just create and start working on it um, you could just uh, delete the branches if you go to the view branches and once it has been merged what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, delete it because I don't need this branch anymore because um, my code has been merged to the master branch um, we changed made the changes over here and that's once we merged it all the change um, had come over here if you do if you see type in validation we would see that validation activity is right popped up at the beginning of the uh, pipeline template so I go back over here if I just hit a refresh um, it will say that can you please make sure that the branch exists or not because we've just deleted the branch and um, data factory gonna throw up an error that that branch particular branch don't exist anymore you might want to save it to the main branch once we have done that we are happy we could just save it as a template uh, give it a name as uh, move files template just take care of the spelling and typos and you could just export the template as well i've exported the template and we're going to use it in our upcoming video how you could just use the same template and deploy workloads for other environment as well without going through the entire process of setting up your uh, branches uh, selecting the right uh, right template since it's already been validated on one of the environment you could just now use the same template reuse that template and just deploy it for non-product production environment i'm going to save the template and now i should be able to just hit on uh, publish and that's gonna push it to the master branch if there are any all right so pretty much about it we just want to make sure that we we understand what um, what how you could just create your own uh, branch uh, and start making changes on that particular branch and then once we are happy with those changes we also learned about the debug functionality of azure data factory you don't have to run through the entire pipeline if you have added a new piece of activity or new piece of code you could just use the debug button and just debug the new piece of code which you want to test rather than going through the entire long running pipeline the pipeline is pretty small at the moment just imagine if this is going to be a big pipeline wherein it pulls up the data from different sources transforms it and then run a validation and at that point of time debugging the entire pipeline would be really tedious uh, at the end we also exported the template and that's what we're going to use in our upcoming video how you could just use that template and deploy on to your production or non-prod environment as well all right i hope this was informative thank you